So Huey Fury claims that after he beats Kurat Pulev, after he beats him, the boxing fans will want to see him versus Anthony Joshua. I 100% uh, disagree with that. First of all, I don't think that this fight between Huey Fury and Kurat Pulev is going to be an entertaining fight. I think their styles make for a very dull fight. You know, Huey Fury himself is a dull fighter, right? He's a boring fighter to watch because of the way he fights. The way he fights is of a fighter that is trying to go the distance. Huey Fury is not a guy who wants to knock his opponent out. Whenever he's in there with a guy who's actually attempting to win against them, or in other words, whenever he's in there with a guy with a post, the man goes on the back foot and stays on the back foot and tries to play the counter puncher and goes the distance. Huey Fury has a lot of confidence in himself. He believes that he is an entertaining fighter. I get the impression he's a little bit deluded as well because, you know, he believes that, you know, I think he thinks he has a really massive fan base and I think he also thinks that he's an entertaining fighter. Uh, Huey Fury uh, says th things like, you know, he has what it takes to be a champion, but clearly he doesn't because when he was fighting... Uh, Joseph Parker, he didn't do the necessary the, the necessary risk, and he didn't take the necessary risk that he was supposed to take against somebody like Joseph Parker. You know what he was doing against Joseph Parker? He was just trying to outbox him. At no point was he trying to be aggressive and try and take the belts from the champion. You're supposed to take the belts from the champion, and he didn't do that. And that fight was such a dull, boring fight. I remember after the fight, everybody was criticizing Huey Fury's performance because it was so boring. Joseph Parker had to literally chase Huey Fury in that ring. You know, if he had what it took, he would have actually stepped his game up and been, been way more offensive and actually brought the fight to, to Joseph Parker. Because the way to beat Joseph Parker is you got to bring the fight to him. You saw how Dylan White was bringing the fight to Joseph Parker. You saw how Dylan White was pushing Joseph Parker back. You saw he was roughing him up. That's what a champion does. He was making it difficult for Joseph Parker, and that's why he beat him. Huey Fury wasn't doing that. He was just trying to outbox him. Um, so, clearly, he doesn't have, or at least back then, he didn't have. Maybe he changes his style, his style up out of nowhere. He does a 180, and now he's being aggressive. But a year ago, he didn't have what it took to become a champion. That's why he didn't become a champion against Huey, uh, Joseph Parker. Uh, so... When it comes to, you know, he, he claims, he claims that the boxing fans are going to demand, they're going to want to see him versus Joseph, you know, they're going to want to see basically Anthony Joshua, AJ, defend his belts against Huey Fury. I doubt it because uh, the way I think this fight's going to play out, it's going to be a stinker. The boxing fans are going to be put to sleep watching Huey Fury versus Kurat Pulib, even if he wins. I have a feeling people are going to be like, man, this fight was boring as hell. It wasn't entertaining. And ain't nobody going to be demanding to watch him fight uh, Anthony Joshua. And again, nobody's demanding this fight. I know he's he's in a, the mandatory position, or at least if he beats Correa Pulev, he'll be in the mandatory position. But ain't nobody demanding this fight because boxing fans know that his style is boring. And they don't want to see him face uh, Anthony Joshua. Right now, what people want to see Anthony Joshua face is Deontay Wilder, uh, Dylan White. Even Jerron Miller. I don't see nobody saying, man, I really, really dig the fact that Huey Fury could possibly face uh, the, uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. Ain't nobody hyping that fight up because they know that's a stinker fight, or at least because the style. It will be a stinker fight because, not because of Joshua, because of Fury. Because if they fought, you know what Huey would be doing? He'll be running on the back foot. He would be running the entire fight, the entire night on the back foot. He would make Joshua chase him. Huey Fury did not take risks against Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker isn't nowhere near the puncher Joshua is. He was too intimidated and too afraid to get punched and get countered by uh, Joseph Parker that he didn't take the risk. So if he was doing that against Joseph Parker, you mean to tell me he's going to take risks against Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua is a far more dangerous threat than Joseph Parker. So he's going to be doing the exact same thing that he did with Joseph Parker. He might just be even more cautious. He's going to be on the back foot just trying to run away like a marathon runner against Anthony Joshua. And it's going to be boring. And people, are going to, the, the crowd's going to be booing uh, Huey Fury. And like I said in the past, I wouldn't be surprised if Huey Fury became a champion if the UK boxing fran fans boycotted his championship reign to have him strip as champion because he's such a dull, boring fighter to watch. 
it's just the truth. He's boring. I, I've never been, I've never seen a Huey Fury fight and thought to myself, wow, this is exciting. This is, uh, you know, an immaculate performance. It's just a boring, put you to sleep type of performance. And unfortunately, boxing fans, they like entertaining fights. And the thing is, Huey Fury doesn't even have a mouth, right? He, he doesn't talk. So not only does he have no personality as the fact that he's boring, but he also has no uh, horrible style, a boring style to watch. So it's it, you know all these things equal to him not ever being that's why he fights on on, on youtube on, on a stream all this equals to him never being a big pay-per-view star because he doesn't have a fan base because of his boring style and ain't nobody gonna be demanding him to face and this job so i'm telling you right now ain't nobody demanding this fight and like i said if that fight does happen they're gonna hate him even more because he's gonna be running i'm telling you they're gonna hate Huey Fury even more if he fights Anthony Joshua because of the fact that he's going to be running around the ring. They're going to look at him like, oh man, that's that guy that ran around the ring against Anthony Joshua for 12 rounds and try to uh, win a fight like that. You know, so it's just not going to happen. You know, you can't beat Anthony Joshua when you're a boring fighter.